Hi everyone and welcome to episode 15 of our Baby Bunting Live series. My name is Mel and tonight I am joined by Tash from Medella who will be going through their breast pump range. Tonight we'll be doing a giveaway. To enter, just jump onto our Facebook live feed and mention your favourite pro- favorite feature of any of the products shown tonight for your chance to win a Medalla Freestyle breast pump. These pumps are also 15% off until midnight tomorrow night. There are many ways to purchase these. There's either over the phone purchases, we also are doing a non-contact click and collect at the moment, many lay-by options, or of course you can still come into store. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section and we will answer them at the end or a team member will get back to you later on. I'll now hand over to Tash who will go over the press pumps. Thanks Mel and thank you Baby Bunting for having us. Uh, So my name's Tash and I work for Medella Australia. Um, And one of the things I love about Medella is that the many expos that we do uh, throughout the year, uh, we're often talking to pregnant or first time or second time mums. And you know, they tell us how their friends have a Medella or their mum had a Medella um, and how, you know, it was a big part of their breastfeeding journey. And that's something I think Medella does really well, which is listening to mums, uh, doing the research and then making products to make their lives easier so that they can give the best to their baby. So Medella was founded in 1961 in Switzerland and it's still a family owned business today, which is pretty amazing. Um, Now all of our breast pumps use the research of two phase expression technology. I'll go through what that is. Um, Basically um, what it means is when the baby goes to the breast, what they found was the babies don't just start swallowing the milk straight away. They've got to do a little bit of work for it. Um, So what they found was there's two distinct phases. So we've got our first phase, which is called stimulation. So it's quick, short, fast sucks, um, and it's non-nutritive, so there's no milk in this first stage. Then as soon as you have your letdown or your milk comes out and you're expressing, your baby needs to switch to a longer, slower, drawn out suck so they can get the most amount of milk. Um, So we've got our short, quick stimulation, then we've got our expression, which is the longer, slower, drawn out. Now, Medella was the first company worldwide to turn this research into our breast pumps. Um, and this is the way to get the most amount of milk for you. Um, Now, most mums will know about our Symphony pump. It's notorious in hospitals across Australia. Um, It's a big pump, big yellow, and it's got a stand on it as well. This one's different than the pumps I'll be demonstrating today. Um, So that one is for um, initiation. So it's for mums who, for whatever reason, maybe they're separated from baby um, or they've had a preterm birth and their milk hasn't come in. So it actually helps to initiate their milk supply. The pumps I'm going to show you today are for personal use and they're just for maintaining your supply once your milk's already come in. Okay, we've also got our giveaway that Mel mentioned as well. So that's our Freestyle Flex breast pump. So it's our top of the range and you get a few extras with it as well. But my favourite feature is it's USB rechargeable. So wherever you plug in your phone, um, you can charge your breast pump. So you can take it for mums who are on the go, busy, going to work. Um, You're not going to have to worry about your batteries running out. Now it takes two hours to fully charge um, and you get up to eight pumping sessions. Um, It also connects to our app so you can track your baby's uh, nappy changes, their feeds. Um, So it's really good for first time mums who want to be on top of everything. Uh, Now with our Freestyle Flex, you also get a cooler pack and you get your four extra bottles um, and your cooler bag, which keeps it nice and cold if you're out and about. And you get your carry bag as well. So this one will carry your breast pump and your cooler bag as well. All right, now what's different about our flex range? So this one here. So when I compare it to our traditional breast shields, which were at a 90 degree angle, this one is 105 degrees. So it's a little bit hard to see, but it's slightly wider um, and it's actually an oval shape. So what that means is mum's breasts come in many different shapes and sizes. So you can actually adjust the breast shield to fit your natural breast shape. As well as that, your nipple sits deeper in the tunnel, um, so you actually get a better um, milk output and you end up getting about 11% more um, per pumping session just by the change in breast shield. All right, now I'll go through a few of our pumps. Now, all of them have our two-phase expression technology, even our manual pump. So this one's our Harmony. So we've got our two phases. We've got our stimulation and then we've got our letdown or expression. So I'll show you on here now. This is the same as our electric pumps, but you're using your hand to create the vacuum. So we've got here our first phase. So you're just pressing the top here and it's those little short, fast sucks that your baby will do when they first um, get to the breast. The 
then as soon as your milk starts to go into the bottom the bottle you're in your let down or your second phase so you need to switch to this handle here so you can see it's much longer slower and drawn out and this is to actually get the milk out of the breast so you've got your first phase up the top little quick stimulation then your second phase all right now i'll show you our swing flex so our single electric breast pump now this one takes um, four AA batteries, so you can be pumping on the go um, if you want to be portable, or you can plug into the wall um, if you don't want to be using batteries. Now this one has our two-phase technology as well, but the motor's doing the work for you. So what we do is we switch it on at the top here, and it starts automatically in that first phase. Now you can see here you can turn up or down the suction. I'll turn it up a little bit just so you can see. So we've got our short, fast sucks here, our stimulation. Then as soon as the milk starts to flow into the bottle, that's when you're in your letdown or your second phase. Now it's really easy on the machine. You can see it, there's the little milk droplets, so that's when you're in your second phase. So milk in the bottle, you click the milk droplets here. And I'll turn the suction up just so you can see, much longer and slower and drawn out. Now it's really important as well, we often get mums um, asking what's the suction level, what's the maximum suction level, but it's really important that you get the, the right um, level of suction so that it's not uncomfortable because if it is uncomfortable it will affect your milk supply. So if you start to notice a slight pinch or discomfort, turn it down one or two levels on here and that's your maximum comfort level to get the most amount of milk. Now it's important to know as well um, our single, our swing single flex um, electric pump, it can't be turned into a double pump. It's only used for one side at a time. So it's really good just for occasional use. Maybe your baby's fed from one side and you're full on the other side and you need to express. All right, so now I'll show you our swing maxi flex. So this one is a double electric breast pump. Now with a double pump, as you can imagine, when you're doing both breasts at the same time, you're literally saving half the time already. Um, but by double pumping as well, it stimulates an extra letdown and you actually get up to 18% more milk just by doing both breasts at the same time. So a double pump is awesome for mums who are going back to work, um, busy mums on the go, um, you're just saving time automatically. Um, now, you can also turn it into a single. So if you are wanting to do one side, like I mentioned before, maybe baby's fed from one side, but your other side's full and you need to express, you just need to pop the tubing in here in the top now that's because if you keep it plugged into the other side and you're not closing it off, you're going to be losing that suction. So we plug it into the top if you're just doing one side at a time. And same thing, we turn it on with the button at the top here. And we can turn the suction up or down. So it starts in our first phase, so our stimulation, the little quick sucks. Now the Swing Maxi Flex takes six AAA batteries, so if you do want to be portable, you can. Um, but if you don't want to use batteries like the Swing Flex, you can be plugged into the wall. Now, as soon as you start to see the milk go in the into the bottle, you're in your letdown. So you need to click the milk droplets on the machine here. So you can see much longer, slower, drawn out. And like I said before, you don't need to turn it up to the maximum suction um, because that won't um, necessarily mean more milk. You just want to be comfortable. So as soon as you feel slight discomfort, just turn it down one or two levels. All right, so now we'll move on to our Freestyle Flex. So this is our top of the range breast pump. It's a double pump as well. So you can do both breasts at the same time um, to save literally half the amount of time. Um, or you can plug it in and do it as a single. So you take it out from one side and pop it into the top here. Now, as I mentioned before, the Freestyle Flex, you probably can't tell when I turn it on, but it's super quiet. Um, but you can see it's really light and it fits in your pocket. So it's super handy if you're just wanting to chuck it in your gym bag or your purse. It's gonna fit anywhere that your phone will fit. Um, now to turn it on, we turn it on the side. You can see it's got a nice display and it shows your battery level at the top here. So it is that rechargeable battery by USB. So anywhere you're plugging in your phone, you can charge your Freestyle Flex. Um, now when you do plug it in, or you connect it to our My Medella app to track your pumping progress, it'll tell you the exact percentage that you're on, just so you know, just like your phone does. All right. So 
So to get started, same thing, we start in our first phase and we click the play button here. So we're in our first phase, the little click sucks, stimulation. Then as soon as you start to see the milk go into the bottle, you're into your second phase or your expression. So on the pump here, you'll see there's little milk drops. And you can see if I turn the suction up a little bit, you can see how it's much longer and slower. So you're in your second phase. Good thing about the Freestyle Flex as well, if you forget to switch over to let down on the machine, it'll do it automatically after two minutes. So as I mentioned, it connects to our MyModel app through Bluetooth. So you can track your nappy changes, your feeds, um, everything like that. You can add little notes, you can add their weight gain. So it's really good for first time mums. All right. Now with our flex range as well, it does have overflow protection. So it means that there's no um, chance that the milk can go into the tubing or into the motor. So it's nice and safe and hygienic. All right. Now it's really important you find the right size breast shield. Now in all of our flex pumps, you get a small and a medium in the pack. Um, that's just the global um, average size of nipples across the world. Um, but mums fit in many different sizes. So it's really important that you measure your nipples and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So if your breast shield is too large for your nipple size, too much of the breast tissue is going to be pulled into this um, breast shield here and it will be uncomfortable. Um, if it's too small, you can imagine your nipple could be rubbing against the sides and that'll create friction and, and be uncomfortable as well. Now we've got our nipple sizing guide here um, for all our flex pumps. Now if you do want one of these, please send us a direct message um, either in the baby bunting comments or at Medela AU and we'd be happy to send one out for you. Now to measure, you can use any ruler. And what you do is you measure across the nipple, so across the top here, and you don't include the areola, it's just the nipple. So for up to 17 millimeters, you'd fit into a small breast shield. For up to 20 millimeters, you'd fit into a medium. For up to 23, you would be a large, and up to 26 would be an extra large. Now, if you don't fit into the small and the medium that come in the pack, um, baby bunting have large and extra large um, and they'll be able to help you find the right one for you. Now in terms of storing your breast milk, you can obviously store straight from the bottle. Um, you can pop the lid on and store it in the fridge or freezer. But we've got some really handy breast milk bags. These ones, as you can imagine, save a lot of space. Um, they can either stand up when they're full of liquid, they can stand up tall or they can lie flat. And it's got a double seal, so you're not gonna be losing any of your breast milk. And you can pop up the top here, the date that you expressed and the time just so you don't forget if you're storing it for long periods of time. Now a handy mum tip, you can actually use your breast shield here and you can pop it straight into the top here. Take the top of your breast, your breast pump off and you can pour straight into the bag um, to store your milk. So you're not gonna lose any milk. Now, in terms of cleaning your breast pump as well, it's really important you clean um, all parts that could come into contact with milk. Um, so you don't wanna be doing the tubing or the motor. Uh, that shouldn't come into contact with milk. You should just do all the other parts. And you gotta make sure you separate them all. So it's really easy, you lift off the back here, you take off the valve, take off the feet and this part here. So you separate all your pumping parts after every use. Warm soapy water, make sure you get them nice and clean. Um, and make sure they're nice and dry before you put them back together uh, because any friction can, can affect the vacuum. Um, now to put them back together, pop it on here. Really easy. If you put it on the wrong way, it won't shut. So you'll know. And you only need to sterilize once a day. So you don't need to sterilize after every use. Um, we've also got some products to help with that. So this is our quick clean microwave bag. So this one sterilizes by using steam and it kills 99.96% of germs. So you can be sure everything's nice and sterilized when you use it again. So same as before, you'd separate all your pump parts and it fits up to a double pump set. So you'd lift off the back here, you'll take off the top. So warm soapy water, then we pop them in here. And you pop in 60 mils of water, seal it up, and depending on the strength of your micro microwave, it only takes a few minutes to sterilize. And it's really 
good if you can imagine if you're um, going away for a long weekend or going overseas, it can be hard to take a big sterilizing machine with you. So a quick clean bag is going to be perfect for that. Now you get 20 uses out of each bag. So if you do forget how often you've used it, you've got a handy little chart on the back here. So you can tick off the days that you've been using it. And we've also got our breast milk soap. This one cleans off um, up to three day old breast milk residue. So it's handy just for when you're cleaning after each pumping um, session or if it's on your um, clothing at all, because it can happen where you get a let down and it's on maybe your nursing bar or your t-shirt. This gets up up to three days old breast milk. Now, if you're out and about as well, our quick clean wipes are really good if you have no access to soap or water. And one wipe will do all your double pump part sets. So it also do countertops, change tables, whatever you need. These are super handy if you're on the go. Now, in terms of storing your breast milk, um, up to four hours is best for freshly expressed best breast milk under very clean conditions at room temperature. So that's um, anything below 23 degrees. Then for breast milk that's um, in the fridge, up to three days is best, obviously in very clean conditions. And that's taking into account that you're cleaning your breast pump after each use and sterilizing once a day. And then for the freezer, it's up to six months. And like I said before, try not to keep your breast milk um, stored in the door of your fridge or freezer. There's a chance it could fall out, but also the temperature's not as constant. All right. Now finding the right breast pump for you, it can obviously be hard if you're a first time mum and there's so many different pumps out there to choose from. There's a few things you can do to narrow down the search. We do have a pump selector tool on our website, www.medala.com.au forward slash breastfeeding. That'll help narrow it down. But a few things to think about is obviously whether you'll be using a manual um, or an electric breast pump. Now you can imagine with our manual breast pumps, um, you've got to be using your hand to create the vacuum. So that can be quite tiresome, especially if you're exclusively expressing and you need to do one breast at a time. Um, so this one's best for occasional use. Um, then in terms of choosing a single or a double pump, it would depend on your lifestyle and how often you're going to want to be expressing. As I mentioned, our double pumps are great because they can be a single pump if you need it to be. Um, whereas our single pumps, they can't be turned into a double pump later. Um, so a few things to consider before you're buying. Um, but if you do need um, any help or you have any medical questions, um, please, we, we recommend that you reach out to your GP or you can call the Australian Breastfeeding Association helpline at 1800 686 286. But please let us know any other product questions or anything in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. We do have a couple of questions from the audience. Um, a few people have asked if you can reuse the storage bags. That's a good question. So unfortunately you can't reuse the storage, the milk um, storage bags. They are just for a one-time use. And Sarah on Facebook has asked what is the best way to clean the tubing and is it easy to clean? Mm, good question. We do get that question quite a bit. If you do have milk in the tubing, I'd recommend reaching out to our customer service team on 1-800 uh, 787345. They'll be able to help you out. Um, you can wash the tubing. They'll be able to show you how to wash it out and make sure there's no milk that's gone into the motor. So these would be with our previous models. Um, but you also can purchase the tubing at Baby Bunting if you do need. And Anne on Instagram has asked, are the pumps closed or open system? So all of our flex range are a closed system, so that prevents that milk going into the tubing. And another one on Instagram, if you're on the go and you can't access warm soapy water, mm. can you just use cold water until you're able to get home to sterilize the pump properly? Of course you can. Obviously that's um, a recommendation is to use warm soapy water. There will be times when you're out and about, which is why our wipes are really good if you're on the go. Um, but of course, cold water is better than no water. So thanks for listening, guys. Make sure you tell us your favorite feature of the Freestyle Flex for your chance to win. It'll be announced tomorrow, so stay tuned.